The Skeldan Energy Inc. SEI recently shared how they produce electrical energy in this Narima Ali report. The Skeldan Energy Inc. has been producing electrical energy since 2009 from its main source of fuel bagasse which was produced and supplied by the sugar estates in Berbice. Due to the closure and privatization of these estates, the Skeldon Energy Inc. has been using an alternative fuel source, which comprises mainly of wood chips. Last Tuesday, the chairman of SEI, Mr. Lloyd Rose, gave the media representatives of Region 6 a tour of the company, during which a team of workers explained the process by which electrical energy is produced. Mr. Satnarain, shift manager at SEI, explained the purpose of the diesel generator room. We have three diesel generators, which are the Wartzilla generating cells. From here, we control everything in the plant. You can see the powder that we are exporting that we are selling to the national grid from here. Could control all three generators along with the auxiliaries from here also. We have guys downstairs in the plant, so if we see an alarm here, we would raid them and they would check what exactly is going on downstairs. Boiler operator Imran Abraham explained the basic operation of the boiler room. Um, our basic operation here for the boiler is we have two boilers, number one and number two boiler. Each has a capacity of producing 125 tons steam per hour at 5.3 MPAs with a temperature of 485 degrees. Now, our basic operation here is to maintain that steam so that the turbine can get steam in order to generate the power. We feed the boiler with the bagasse, we heat it in the furnace, and in turn, the heat transfer to the drum, boils the water, and from that we get steam. It goes out into the steam line and it comes to the turbine. And from here, the turbine does its work in order to generate power. The turbines are responsible for converting steam produced by the boiler into electrical energy. Mr. Amit Singh, project engineer, explained the recent works that were carried out to improve the efficiency of these turbines. There was a lot of scale built up on the blades of the turbine. This was actually decreased the efficiency of the turbine. So we had to actually dismantle the whole turbine Mr. Michael McKell, shift manager at the cogeneration plant, explained the responsibility of the wood chipper. This equipment in front of us is the wood chipper. The wood chipper is responsible to get the, the, the wood into smaller pieces. The smaller pieces. Approximately, we, the wood chipper could chip a ton wood power. And it chip in small pieces size of the one we chip is about 10 mm. We don't have bagasse presently. So this is the way we go forward with this biofuel wood. And we have supplier as far from Mara to Oriala. Farzana Hakim, chemical water treatment plant manager trainee, explained the importance of this plant in the production of electricity. Basically, an immense amount of water is needed daily for the boiler and cogeneration power plant operation. However, as such, we require good quality of water for safe and reliable operation. However, the water that is being collected from the GWI, it contains various levels of contaminants, dissolved solid and dissolved gases, which can cause problems to um, major the equipment used in our power plant and to the boiler. So, the chemical water treatment plant provides a filtration mechanism for these impurities to control it and remove it on a continuing basis. Mr. Satnarain explained the purpose of the sludge incinerator, which is the first of its kind in Guyana. Yeah, it's the first of its kind in Guyana. Um, sludge. Sludge is a waste product from the diesel plant. It is a highly substance, so we cannot dispose of it in the environment. As such, we have to invest in this incinerator to burn the sludge out. We have an engineer from Spain who is presently here assisting us with the final stages of our uh, commissioning. The 
and everything could also born solid waste, like rags and plastic bottles, those kind of stuff. Mr. Sudat Singh, the instrument and electrical engineer, shared how SEI supplies GPL with electricity. Basically what we are looking here is our interconnection with GPL, where we generate 38, um, step up to 69 kV for transmission purposes, and goes out to GPL for distribution purpose. That's basically our 69 kV distribution and interconnection with GPL. The Scallon Energy Inc. has been providing GPL with electricity for a number of years. As mentioned in the press release, last year 2017, SEI has produced 90.7 gigawatts per hour, of which 74.5 gigawatts per hour were sent out and distributed to the GPL grid, representing approximately 9.5% of GPL's total distributed energy. With rehabilitations that are being carried out, the chairman Mr. Lloyd Rose hopes for this company to continue to grow since all the rehabilitative works that were carried out thus far are responsible for the company's improved efficiency in its energy output. Narima Ali, Channel 8 News.